I want to take a look at how we can install Mailvelope uh, and use it to send and receive uh, encrypted emails uh, using public key, private key. Uh, so I have uh, Firefox installed here. You can use Mailvelope in either Firefox or Chrome. And I'm going to go to Mailvelope.com. And under the Documentation tab, I'm using Firefox, so I'm going to do the Firefox add-on. And I'm going to continue with installation and give it the permissions it's asking for. And if you're on Firefox, the last thing you need to do is check this, allow uh, this extension to run in a private window. If you're on Chrome, you don't need to do that. And now that it's installed, I can see I have the Mailvelope icon up here on my toolbar. I'm going to click that and let's get started. Um, I don't have a public key private key pair yet so I'm going to generate that key and it wants to know my name and it wants a password. This password is going to be for that public key private key pair. Uh, when I go to use one of those, when I go to use the private key to open or the private key to sign, I'll have to enter this password. Uh, I'm going to leave checked, upload the public key to the mail, Mailvelope key server. Uh, and if you look under advanced, there's just a few things uh, in here. We can change the algorithm, we can change the bit, uh, key size, and we can change the expiration date. For now, we're just going to leave all those alone. And after I've entered that data, I'll click Generate. And this will take a few seconds. But eventually, I'll end up with a success message. And I'll have a public key, private key pair that's marked as default. Uh, next thing I want to do is come in and make some changes to the options. On the options menu, the general tab, I'm going to check yes to sign all my emails. I want to make sure they're signed. And I'll save it. I want to decrypt the displayed messages in a separate Mailvelope pop-up. And save that. Security background, I can pick a different shape if I want to and a different color. Gmail API tab, I want to turn that on. And the key server, I want to set to be the Mailvelope server. And with all of those changes in place, I'm ready to come back to key management. and synchronize. And this sends my public key uh, along with my identity up to that Mailvelope key server. And after I've sent it, that sends me an email that I'll need to uh, authorize. For some reason it's sending two. And the one I want to authorize is the second one here. It wants my public key, private key password, and I can decrypt the message. If you clicked on the wrong message, it says ID not found or user not found or something like that. If that's the case, just go in and click on the other message, uh, and you will eventually end up with this uh, successfully verified. OK, so now that I have um, Mailvelope configured, I can come back in and check the keys one more time. And I can see that the key data is on the Mailvelope server. It's up to date. 
So I'm ready to start sending and receiving messages now. So if I want to create a message, I can come in here and click on the mail envelope icon. And the first time I click on this, it's going to want to authorize through the Gmail API. And I'm ready to start sending messages. And notice how it went from red to green. It has downloaded the public key for Mike Smith from the Mailvelope key server. So now I can send it to Mike with confidentiality because the only one that can open it is Mike's private key. And for the message, I can just put some data in there, whatever. I could put an attachment on it if I wanted to. You could try that. I'm going to sign messages with my private key, right? So that's the one that's selected there. I could choose to sign only, but I'm going to do encryption as well. So I have sent the message with Mike's public key for confidentiality, and I have signed it with my private key uh, for authentication. So now when I come into Mike's account, I can see that the message has arrived. You can see it was ciphertext, right? And if I want to decrypt it, it's asking if it's okay to download the public key from Westfield Grocer to verify uh, the identity and now it wants Mike's password for his public key private key pair and I can see the decrypted message I can see that it was signed uh, and that the key pairs match So that is the process of installing Mailvelope and sending uh, and receiving encrypted email.